Uh, hello everyone, and today I'm giving you guys um, this week's review of the newest episode in Hannibal and Psych. And essentially, an episode Hannibal, Hannibal, will essentially has certain like mind wrap type of things in the psyche. He starts to get the psyche of Dar Dar Harad, and for that he goes to Hannibal for advice and to really conquer it. And it's almost like he can really almost connect with Dar Harad. And um, played by Richard Armitage in the show, and essentially uh, that's what's going on in this week's episode. And I really liked it. It was very much like you know, with any sort of series, we get one, like we get a certain type of episode that where the main character gets into perspective of of another, of another character, essentially. And I always find those ones really essential, really really interesting, mainly because you get to see what the main character v feels or experiences. <laughs> Like, sometimes we get to see, um, you know, how certain characters feel about other certain characters on the show, but how they mentally place themselves in each other's shoes is always a really, really interesting route. And through this, Hannibal, or not Hannibal, um, Will Graham essentially draws, well, doesn't really draw the conclusion, but he essentially thinks to himself, like, should I have pity or should I have no remorse for Dollar, for Dollar the Horide? in this, and I think it's a really interesting idea of how it goes about doing this. It's really fascinating, I think it's really, really intriguing. The way it's done is so unique, like how he really, I mean, it's passed with almost like a salute type of mind with him. It's very interesting, I always find that very, very fascinating, and, uh, yeah. There's really nothing in here, just eliminate. And, um, I think that's a really interesting route because uh, just to have the idea of the main character not always having the certain view on a character, but get the, getting essentially put themselves in their mental shoes. I'm sorry about steps or stairs. Um, it's such an interesting route for me, and I really like that. It's almost like um, the great line from *The Killer Mockingbird*. It's like, "My man, you don't know." someone they have done until you put them put yourself in their shoes. It's like even then you don't know what to expect. But it's like it's like for once, put yourself in their perspective. It really shows just how smart and diverse this the show is. It knows really how to really stick to those um boundary. It knows how to stick to the boundaries but also knows what how what kind of boundaries it has essentially for the episodes. God, the noise upstairs is insane. I'm sorry for that noise. But essentially, it's really interesting to see that how that go and the way they play, the way they, show, they shoot it is so intriguing. It really puts you almost like how they almost like complement each other in a way. Although I don't know, although I personally don't know how to draw the conclusion of the two. But I think it's a very interesting and very, very thoughtful perspective they take in this episode. And it's, of course, like always, it's well shot, it's well edited, well scripted, well done. Mm. Go away. Sorry. And, like, it's just, I'm sorry about that, my mom just came into the room. I'm sorry. But essentially, um... It's like a very interesting route I think it takes, and I think it's so fascinating the way they do it. It's just endlessly fascinating, and for me, you know, how the show just keeps going like this is just endlessly fascinating. And I think it's super intriguing the way it does, the type of editing they use, this type of transitional uses they use. It's always about those transitions of how it flows into one scene within another and how it goes. It just the way they do that is so good and so fascinating. I'm just like. How the hell do you do that? That's just, that's just extraordinary to me. And I think that's extremely interesting. And seriously, high, high praises to the editing team on Hannibal, because they do a fantastic job. And also the way they tap into, like, the mental state of Dora Horizon's character, you know, Red Dragon, Pepper Richard Armitage. Uh, like, how do they just portray him as such a tormented, depraved, almost psychologically damage like we've seen we've seen the, these type of characters many times before but this one plays it so uniquely that I find it endlessly fascinating about how we could just watch it and be both 
freaked out, but also re both we freaked out and repulsed, but also how ha how much we have pity and sympathy for his character. And I think that's so so well done in the show and the way it's done. Like the writing for his character is just excellent. You know, Hannibal goes to confront. No, Will Graham goes to approach and confront Hannibal of like you're essentially asking him for help of how he needs to cope and how essentially he needs to break away from how he can almost like mend. He's like there's part of it when he's like, I want to get into Doctor Eye's head and how he goes into this stuff, but there's essentially another side that says that I can really get out because maybe he'll know what I don't know or he may go for my family or whatever will happen. And I think that's a really interesting approach. It's almost like a subconscious note that plays and although I don't think they're gonna go form or not like crazy with that route. But I think that's very, very fascinating for the how they play that in this episode. I mean the, the way the Hannibal approach no God or how Will Graham approaches Hannibal is super fascinating in the way they note they, the way they note it and how he gives him almost like this I wouldn't say apologetic, but I would say it's very, very simple, very, very well done approach they do with each other, like how it's like, it's not very much like he's asking him a favor, but it's almost like he's tempting him it's almost like he's tempting him, it's almost like he's um, intriguing him, it's almost like, you know it's not like playing, it's not like asking one to do something for you, but it's almost like making it seem like it's the right decision like, it's like, you know, no this is good for you. It's good for you to help me in this sense, and it's very, very intriguing and how they play those t two off each other. And you get to see Will um, Jack Crawford, but once again by Lawrence Fishburne, who is always great in the show. I just love it. If Demi appears, there's such a great confidence and I would say cockiness, but I would say there's a sense of weight and gravity to his character. Like there's such an experience and there's such an age to him that you really feel like he's been there for a long time and he knows how to work for a long time and I just love that they have such a rich history with their characters and they know how to really devote them into the show. It's just extraordinarily good and I love the show because of that. And essentially, yeah, this week's episode of Hannibal is just excellent. I loved it, the way it was shot, the way it was edited, the way the story was going for me. So <laughs> this is on my printer right now. Um, in the end, I just love this episode. It's one of the best episodes of the season so far, I gotta say. It really is. It feels like this is a really good thing I wanna say is that it feels like it's standing it feels like it, it does connect with last week's episode with when the next week's episode, but also has a feeling that it can stand on its own. I think that's very very good for from a writing someone how to make an episode both time to two certain things, but also make it stand on its own. I think it's really well done, in my opinion. And in the end this week's episode of Hannibal is just awesome. And check out and thank you everyone for watching these episodes these episodes of my thoughts on them. As always, till then I'll see you guys in the future for more videos as always. Till then, I am out. Goodbye.